how long would it take to travel on all the lines of the Beijing subway system? It's something that I started to think about after reading about a guy who did just that in Shanghai. He hopped on and off all the lines of the Shanghai metro system, I think 19 lines, and the trip cost him less than four hours. And it made me wonder, well, Beijing has a subway system, I have a subway card, and some time on my hand, so why not give it a try? It is 10, 11 in the morning. But before we do anything, I just wanted to give you an overview of the Beijing subway system. It is the second longest in the country and actually the world. 783 kilometers of tracks, 25 lines, which we will be crossing except for two, the two airport express lines. They're by design meant to take you out of town and so that's not what we're doing but everything else all 23 lines we are doing if they're color coded if they're on this legend we are doing them and this is a very empty platform That's the driver right there. This is interesting. We just came from this line, which is the Yenfeng line. And going to the next line is as easy as just walking the platform. Here comes the train at the slowest possible speed. Now we just moved into here and we're gonna take the Fengshan line into the city and then start working our way around this. I'm thinking of first covering the western side because there are a few subway lines that go into the suburbs so we have to do this like this one right here or this one right here and so we need to get it over with so we can have fun on this side. That's the plan, but I don't know what life will throw in my face. This is one of the very few lines that operates above ground level, so might as well just take in the view while they last. We are out and now we need to go to line 10. By the way, we're officially underground right now. Ooh, look at the lights. Now it's not as fancy as two meters ago. We are here and now we're going to Caoqiao. And the reason why I'm going to Caoqiao because it connects to this line, line 19. It's tricky because it doesn't have a lot of open subway stations. And so I had to go this side eastwards, even though eventually I'm gonna cover this side, but this is an unavoidable evil. Three lines down, plenty to go. Chao is transfer station and we love love transfer stations today because they make our job a lot easier we don't like to have a detour so early in the trip but we have to cross all the lines and line 19 even though it's the newest addition it is still part of the Beijing subway here comes the train This one is usually reserved for one of four categories of people, either the elderly, parents with kids, people with disability or injured leg, as the illustration shows, or pregnant women. And so if it's rush hour and there's a lot of people, whoever's sitting here needs to get up out of courtesy to one of these people, which is a really nice thing to do with or without having a clearly marked 
seat for it. Now go to line four. This one has a green theme. Oh, that's pretty. Here we go. This one there. Now here. So we are here, and then we want to go to Sarshiko, which is a transfer to line seven. I know it's stupid, but can I do it backwards? Yes, I can. All right. Oh, this one feels old. Oh, wow. I was expecting it to beep, but it didn't. This line four is going to continue its way north. We are going to go west. West is that way. Saishoko used to be the execution grounds during the Qing dynasty, which was the last dynasty. So prisoners on capital punishment would be shuttled to Tsaishoko to be beheaded. We have a bit of mural art right here. What is it? Some intellectuals? Is that what it is? Thinking? Here we are. Beijing West Railway Station. Moving on to line 9. One step closer to our goal. I don't know why I'm talking like that. You see a few people having their luggages. This one has her suitcase. More suitcases here because they are leaving Beijing. But we're not. We are gonna go try our luck here. I'm not sure if this is the right way, but there's only one way to find out. Yeah, I have a feeling that's not it. Yeah, this is not the right way. This is a different direction. I need to go to the opposite one. I tell you, I am all over the place. Um, okay, here we go. This time, this is it. This is it. I know it in my heart. It says here, Bai Shi Qiao, and this is where I want to go. So, success. Bai Shi Qiao Nan, and then we transfer to line six. That's the right way. And all it cost was for me to read the map. I am making my way to line six from line nine. Do you hear that? There's a train somewhere up or down or not really sure. So this is line six, which is the second longest line in Beijing. And it's actually very important because it takes off a lot of the pressure on line one which is one of the most crowded lines in Beijing. We are here, we are going here so we can take care of this cluster and the subway train is here. All of the subway cars are clean. They're spotless clean. And since COVID, they're disinfecting them every day. All the subway riders must wear a mask. There are guards that pass between the cars and if they see anyone without a mask or like putting it down, yeah, that's not acceptable. It's a good thing because it makes the ride safe. It's fine if you're going from point A to B, but we are going today through all the alphabetical letters. So um, it might get a little bit stuffy, but it is what it is. Safety first. Yes, I am sitting on one of those courtesy seats, but it's really super empty. It's really super empty. I'll show you. So I'm forgiven. One more stop to Jing An Xiao. And then the guard is behind me. Ni hao. Okie dokie. Making my way up. Well, they're standing on the escalator. We're going to line 11, this salmon pink. This one was opened this year for the Winter Olympics, the Beijing 2022.
This is very short. We're not gonna go all through it. We're just gonna go to Beixian, then come back. Oh, and then here you have the two mascots of the Beijing 2022. Shui Rong Rong and this panda right here whose name I completely forgot. And oh my lordy, there is no one here. What is this panda's name? It's called Winter Olympic Slime because it serviced this Shogang Park, which was one of the three venues of the Beijing 2022 Winter Olympics. That's where the big air events used to happen. Ah, Bing Dung Dun. This is it. Bing Dun Dun. We're literally just gonna step out, move to the other side, and then take the train going back in the other direction. I need to go to S1 line. More stairs. Whew. How do I get to S1? Oh, here we go. More interesting designs. S1 line, the train uses magnetic field to levitate above the ground. And that's why it's called maglev, mag for magnetic and lev for levitate. And even the tracks are different. You see, they don't look like the regular ones that you would see in the subway. Those ones have like edges on both sides. This one is purely flat. Watch me levitate. I am on the maglev train and to be honest, it, just, it feels the same. It feels regular. But I know for a fact that we're just like hovering above the tracks, which is pretty sci-fi. These are the western suburbs of Beijing. This is a massive building. I am back on line 6, having explored line 11 and the maglev train. I would have loved to go down to line 1 because I haven't been on yet today, but we can't because this section right here is still under construction and I cannot wait until 2023. So we need to retrace the steps to this one right here, Bai Shi Xiaonan, which is where I transferred to get on line six. Now I'm gonna use it to leave line six and go somewhere else. I just left line six, went one stop up on line nine, which is to this specific station, the National Library. And then from here, I'm gonna move to line 16. One stop, just to like mark check and then come back. It is a necessary detour that I had to do. Otherwise I would have missed line 16 from my trip or even worse, I would have had to go all the way to like somewhere else and that would have just extended the journey. I am back to the National Library Station and it feels like I have never left. Here's the plan. As it says very clearly, <laughs> you are here, I am here. And now I wanna go to Pago because there's the line that I have to do. And so the only way is to go up on line four, which we've been on, and then on line 10, which we've already also been on, but there's no other way. This is the shortest, and so it is what it is. I do have a bit of traveling to do, but I will see you at Bago. Hello, Bago. And now let's find our way to the other line. Well, that's a little bit dizzying. Xijiao line. Hello. Ni So apparently, we have to leave the subway system. Oh boy. Okay, so I've overstayed my time inside the subway. At most, you could stay for four hours, well, that's three, but for four hours. And so that's why I couldn't swipe the card. And they've actually charged me three extra why as a fine yeah now i've learned my lesson 
Here we go, just in time. 45.6, okay. Oh, so this is nice. This is the first time I actually see this. It's a tram line, cool. Still part of the subway system. Let's get a seat next to the window. All I need is one stop so I can say that I've been physically on the line and then just go back. And that's what I'm gonna do. And enjoy the view, even though it's still cloudy and it's highly likely that it's gonna rain. But still, it's a little bit better than being just meters and meters underground. Now I have to cross the other side. But the train keeps going. I don't want to toot my horn or anything, but I've just finished 12 stations out of the 23 that we're visiting today. So that is half the load gone. I started off this journey with a lot of excitement, all hyped up about this. I love taking the subway to places. It's very convenient. It's cheap, affordable, but taking it for this long of a time is not the most fun thing to do. I think that this stretch, I was commuting for long distances and for long periods of time. Hopefully now things will get a little bit faster, a little bit more connected. The tram is here. And now we have to find our way back into the subway. I am back in the subway, underground, going back on line 10 so I can move to line 13 and head north. I know this line like the back of my hand because that was the line that I was using the most during college just because it was so close to where I was studying. Good old days here. The next stop is called Wudaoko. A lot of the famous universities are there. Tsinghua University, Peking University, Renmin University. These are like really top tier academic institutions in China. We're just gonna pass by it. Many of the subways here are above the ground, so you also get views. Just got off line 13, moving to the Chumping line, which is a line that serves the Chumping district, a northern suburb. Just got off Chumping line, and now making our way to line eight. Line eight goes through the central axis of Beijing, which is the core area of the old city of Beijing. So we're gonna take it, it's towards the east of the city, and we're gonna take it down because we need to explore this area. We are behind schedule because I made a mistake. I was supposed, the shortest distance could have been here, but then I had to go up and east, now going down. It's all confusing. I am very tired, but there's nothing we can do now. From line 8, I'm moving to line 15. Line 15 is purple. The rush hour is about to start, and I am going into it. Fun! Oh, look at this. That's nice. I was literally going to say, oh, I didn't see any art installations, and then there it was, up on the ceiling. Oh, and another one. Line five is a hop and a skip away, so that's great. We're moving fast. Done with line 15, now to line five. I don't know why I just decided to take the escalator. I haven't been taking it almost the whole day and all of a sudden, now when there's everyone on it. It's all right. Oh, no, 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 no. Did I miss the train? We missed the train. It is right there and we missed it. Hello there. 
what is this golden building right here? No idea. I just got off line five and I'm making my way to line two. But honestly, I am super tired. I am drained. I'm starting to feel like this is no longer fun. Get me off this ride. How can I exit? But on the other hand, I feel like, well, I've been in this for far too long to, you know, drop everything and leave. So, five more lines to go. Since we're here, might as well just tell you about line two. It is the second oldest line in Beijing and it is a loop line. Line two traces the wall of the old city of Beijing during the Qing Dynasty, the inner city. I actually made a video about it and how many of the subway stations right now are named after the gates along that wall. Many of them have men at the end and men in Chinese means gate. So you have Anding men, you have Xiji men, you have Fucheng men, Fuxing men, Xuanwu men, Tianmen, you get the idea. So make sure to go check it out. I'm gonna leave a link up here somewhere. Hashtag shameless plugging. Just got off the train and going to line one, the oldest line on the Beijing subway system. This is how the network that transports millions of people every day started. The good thing about rush hour is that they have more trains operating at shorter intervals. And so even if there are a lot of people and the turnover is high, I didn't have to wait much, less than a minute perhaps. We are here and we're just gonna take one stop back to line five because I have a plan. So we are here having come from, where did I come from? Jiang Guomen, here we go. And now I'm gonna go down this line because we still haven't done line 14. And line 14 is this line that has an L shape and goes from Northeast Beijing all the way to the Southwest where we started. So we have to get on this line to go to our next destination. Line 14, here I come. More crowds, but you know what? I don't care for the escalator. Let's do it the good old fashioned way. Work them legs. We're going to Shilihe to transfer to line 17. And now crossing to line 17. It is newly operated and its construction is not done yet. It eventually will run all the way to the north of Beijing. Oh, no way. This is the train and look at it go. No, my dreams are crashing right now. Four minutes until the next one. Here we are at Suqiu on the road to Yizhuang, which is the second to last line. This is the ride. I am not clear-minded anymore. I'm extremely foggy. Um, but I'm just so close to getting all these lines. And so I think I must go on. This is it. I have just stepped out of each one line and going to the last one. I think it's called each one T1. My energy levels are very, very low. And I'm hoping I'll just finish this mission successfully. Everything is foggy. Everything is blurry. My brain is just not functioning properly. So I had to leave the subway station because 
the last line is actually a light rail line, a tram line, and it's a matter of trying to find it and get on it, but I'm not able to find it. I need to calm down a little bit. I need to take the mask off. Oh, that feels good. Oh, Jesus, that feels so good. Where am I? Where should I be going? I have no idea and I do not see. Oh, it's probably there. All right, let's go. Oh, here it is. Here it is. That's the tramway. Let's get to it and get it over with. Should I do it? Oh my God, I don't know. My head is hurting. I have a splitting headache. I just don't know if I want to do it. It's 7.20, 7 p.m. I've been doing this for nine hours. And I think, I think I'm good. I think I will be able to live with myself for not being able to get on this line that I can actually see I'm pointing at. I came, I saw, I didn't conquer. Well, I conquered, but like not a full 100%. And that's fine. Um, but yeah, it stopped being fun for the past couple of hours just because I started to get hungry, hangry. The headache is just killing me and it's been ongoing for two hours. I think I'm dehydrated. I'm definitely just out of it. I'm done. I really am done. And I'm not like finishing this off on a bad note. I think it has been a wonderful experience. I think I've crossed over 180 kilometers. I got to see the brand new lines, the brand new subway stations, the oldest ones. I've been to places that I've never been to and I don't think I'll ever go back to. And I think the most important lesson that I've learned is that just because you can do something doesn't mean that you should do it. I really would love to hear your thoughts, your opinions on this. So please leave your comments in the comments section. If you like this video, please like it. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. I will see you next time. 再见!